Restaurants around the world operate with razor thin margins and generally have very limited technology to support their operations. Connor, how does Nori's artificial intelligence driven hospitality operating system really help the restaurant owner improve quality and at the same time drive better profit margins. A lot of restaurateurs get into the business through passion, through a drive to want to deliver great guest experiences, but they don't come from operations data or finance backgrounds. Um, so what Nori does is analyze all of their business data and be able to look at areas in the business that are underperforming. That could be from uh, labor management, food waste, uh, even just productivity, and be able to really uh, give teams bite-sized uh, actions to go, hey, look, this is what you should do today to make sure you're going to hit your margins, but also deliver awesome experiences. And I think that's been pretty revolutionary for our customers. Restaurant owners have a whole lot going on, especially owner operators. How do you make the Nori system easy enough to interface to that they can really take advantage of it quickly? That's one of the, the first things that people say when they see the product is this looks so easy yeah. to use. I don't even need training. So that is key, right? I think for us, our first hire was a designer. And that was quite purposeful, right? That we wanted design to be a moat for us or design to be a key, key differentiator in the product. What are the data collection or data inputs that you're accumulating to be able to drive the artificial intelligence algorithms the way you are? If we start at the top, you've got regional data. So if we take an area here in Lisbon, for example, you take the regional information here. So what like federal holidays are happening? How does that impact the business? Weather-based data, so live weather APIs, how is that going to impact businesses? Because also, if you're a, a salad chain versus an ice cream vendor, it's going to have pretty big impact on, on demand for your business. We then go in specifically to the venue, use all of their historical business data to really understand how does this business trade all across the year for different seasons. But then, as I said, every week, every day, every hour, most restaurants do 70% of their turnover in about four hours a day and about three days a week, right? Typically, those power hours really kind of driving in where is your demand coming from and how can you optimize for that? Connor, there's a whole bunch of companies providing parts of a solution to the hospitality industry, whether that be staffing, whether it be demand planning, whether it be purchasing solutions, payment solutions. What was the thesis in having Nori put it all together and offer a single solution? Hospitality historically was only spending around two, two and a half percent of the PL on technology, which is about half the average for, for most verticals. It's gone the opposite side post pandemic now, where we've seen so many players drive in to digitize every micro workflow. There's almost like tech fatigue in the restaurants. These people are not tech first, that's not how they run their people first, typically. We felt like there was a huge opportunity to really consolidate the most important operational elements of a business into one platform, so as you said earlier, to make it so much easier to use, but give you that visibility and then that control. If you go into an opportunity and there's an existing vendor there already as part of this digital transformation you're describing that's accelerating, do you coexist or is it a requirement for a, uh, an operator to take just the Nori solution? We do offer the product in a modular fashion. So if people have one particular pain that is really, really, it could be staff engagement, retention, productivity. So we could run with that module. And then over time, what we've typically seen is people see the value of the ROI and then they see the light, if you want to put it that way, and then they start to consolidate the rest what of the What does modules. the ROI look like? How much can you improve profit margins? We've seen a huge impact, right? Obviously, it's dependent on the businesses when they come to us, but if you look at our case studies, anywhere from 50 to 100% increases in EBITDA, which is pretty transformational, right? That's what we market on, that's what we sell on, the proof points that we can continuously deliver this. Turns it from a narrow margin business barely surviving to hopefully one that's thriving. 100%. Connor, who are your main competitors and how do you defend against their competitive positioning? The market is split, right? So we look at it from SMB to enterprise and we look at our client list or our partners. Uh, typically SMB for us is say two to 50 venues in size. Um, they predominantly acquire different products to run different workflows uh, as they grow. So you start off with a point to sale, like a touch bistro or a light speed, and then as you, you need to get something to manage your workforce, which could be seven shifts, deputy, then you might get something for inventory, like a market man, and then really quickly, you're just inundated with tech, right? right. Yeah. It's a lot Fragmented, of going, really hard to pull systems. it all together, really hard to get that visibility and that control we talked about. Um, so one of our USPs against that is the fact that we consolidate that, give you one central OS, to run off, we can, the data is also not mutually exclusive, so we use all of this data in our algorithms. So your staffing versus your waste, they're not exclusive, right? They should, they, they're pretty much uh, lead and lag indicators for each other. Exactly. And then from an enterprise point of view, there are some more legacy enterprise resource planning tools or EOPs, uh, like Oracle or Fourth Hospitality. They would have been first movers. 
So maybe 20, 25 years ago, entered the space and we would compete against them. And typically it's our demand planning, our, our kind of AI that we have in the product that is seen as a pretty big differentiator against those products.